Betty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make a kachina doll. I take three fingers from the top and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle. Now I'm going to draw a straight line on top, straight line on the bottom, straight line on the left, and a straight line on the right. In between each section, I'm going to go one, two, three straight lines, one, two, three straight lines, one, two, three straight lines, one, two, three straight lines. I come back on the top and I'm just going to draw a curve line down, down, curve line down, down and I'm going to work my way all the way around the circle. Now some of them will fit right down to the uh, edge. Some of them will kind of hit the other one and that's okay. You just want to make sure that you have them going all the way around the middle circle. <clears throat> now Making a kachina can be very complicated if you don't break it down into parts. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to break it down into parts. Now that I've done this section, I come on the center of the circle and I draw a straight line down, straight line to the edge, come back up to the top, straight line down, straight line to the edge. Now, inside, I'm going to mimic what I just drew. Straight line, straight line, straight line, curve line, connect. Right underneath, I draw one skinny rectangle on the left, one skinny rectangle on the right. In the center, I draw an upside down triangle, and on the side, I go little rectangle, little rectangle on the left, little rectangle, little rectangle on the right. Now I'm ready to do the middle section. I come right here on the left and I draw a slightly curved line down on the left, slightly curved line down on the right. Come back to the left, join the two with a slightly curved line. Come back to the left, straight diagonal out, slightly curved line over, straight diagonal down, connect. Now I come in and I go one, two, three curved lines on the left, one, two, three curved lines on the right. Come back on this right side and go one, two, three curved lines, one, two, three curved lines. And I leave these open, these are called floaters. Now I come back to the left and I draw a straight diagonal down, curve line over, straight diagonal up, connect. Come on the right, straight diagonal down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Come all the way up here on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line out and a curve line up, curve line up, connect. On the left, on the right, Curve line down, cur straight curve line over, <laughs> curve line up, connect. Right here I'm just going to draw on the right a curve line. Now we're ready to decorate. On the center I'm going to go curve line down, up, connect, one. Curve line down, up, connect, two. Curve line down, up, connect, three. I come on the right hand side and I go zigzag, zigzag, zig. Come back up, zigzag, zigzag, connect. On the left side I go zigzag, 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 connect. I come on the left side and I go baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. 
and then I do one, two loops. On the right hand side, I go straight line, jump over, straight line, straight line, jump over, straight line. On the bottom, connect. On the top, straight line, curve line, big curve line, curve line, connect. Now I'm going to mimic those lines again. Curve line, curve line, curve line. And I'm going to add some straight lines at the bottom. I come over here on the skirt shape and I draw a straight line down. And then I go zigzag, 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 connect. I draw a baby circle. And inside the center I go curve line, curve line, right to the edge, curve line, keep going, connect. I come down to my legs and I draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Now in this section right here I draw a big curve line, connect, big curve line, connect. I come down to the very bottom and I add one curve line, two curve lines, and now I divide this space up with a little curve line, little curve line, 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 curve line. Now it seems really complicated, but in reality, all this basically is is a lot of geometric forms all spaced together. The same thing is going to happen with the coloring, and we will show you that next. Okay, the coloring can be kind of intense, but we're going to try and do it all in sequence. The first thing you want to do is you want to do a little bit of black right here on the tips of your headdress. So you just go all the way around and put a little bit of black. These little rectangles are going to be black. The triangle is going to be black, and your little rectangles are going to be black. I come all the way down to the left, and I do my little baby circles black. I'm going to do my di uh, zigzag design black. I'm going to come up, and I'm going to do my rattle black, the top part. And I think that's just about it for black. Next color I'm going to use is blue. So I come in and I do my face blue. I do my zigzags on the arms blue. I do the skirt section blue. I do the top part of my legs blue. And down here maybe I'll put a little section of blue also. And I put my, oh, and I forgot my rattle. Put a little bit of blue there. Put that away. Now I'm going to use my yellow. I'm going to put yellow on one side. I'm going to do this arm yellow, my hand yellow, my splits yellow, my hand yellow, the inside of my rattle yellow. Put some little yellow lines there. I'm going to do part of my legs yellow and the top part right here. Next I'm going to do red. I do this section red my shirt red, around here red, I'm going to do the bottom parts of my shoes red, this section red, part of my rattle red, I forgot to put this section yellow, I'll throw that back in, and I'm going to now add my green. I'm going to do green on my little rosette. I'm going to add green to my shoes and a little bit of green on my handle. Complicated, but not really if you do it color by color. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my kachina all colored in. I think the most important thing is to make sure that you use color combinations that they would use on regular Kachina dolls in reality. Best thing to do, go online, Google Kachina dolls and see what comes up. Okay, bye bye.